Okay, in this video, let's take a look at James Hahn, PGA Tour player. He's won twice. Uh, he's been out there for quite a while, and he does seem to struggle from time to time. So let's take a look at this swing and see what might cause him some problems from time to time. Just a quick reminder, if it's your first time to the channel or you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit the like button as well. The like really helps the channel grow, so thank you so much for that. So with James Hahn's swing, we really see a couple things that cause some problems. One is some lateral shifting, and then the lateral shift creates a steeper transition move. It's sort of hard to recover on a regular basis. So we'll see a bit of shift backwards this way, loading into the right side, which might have been taught when he was a kid. He's 40 years old, so that could have been something he was taught versus simply a rotation. So a shift back and then a major shift on the way through, and that creates some trouble in the transition move. So we'll see this shot here. This is just an iron, so you imagine the driver will be even more of a shift into that back leg, and then quite a bit move a bigger move on the way through. And we'll see from the downswing or the down the line view here in a minute, just what that does to the shaft and transition. But it does quick create a lot of shifting laterally, which will then change the low point, harder to figure out the bottom of this swing. And of course, require a bit of a re recovery move for the swing plane itself. But he's won twice, so when he gets it going, clearly he's got the mental game to keep it going. From this view of the driver, we can see as he winds it up, pretty standard modern swing, left arm across the shoulder plane, face a little more open than some players, a little looser at the top than some players, but really it's this move here. We know he's shifting hard left, but that position right in this area here is much steeper than he probably would want it to be, and probably steeper than when he's playing really well. That's definitely pointed inside the golf ball and for a driver especially we like to really see that thing shallowing and working its way down along the plane a lot sooner because always imagine when you draw a line from the shaft across the plane the club's going to try to get under that plane and follow that line and if it keeps going down there and gets under that line too much of course that's when there's trouble this one he jumps up to try to rescue it out of there it barely gets under at the bottom that movement of sliding and jumping is tougher to figure out on a week-in and week-out basis. This day, this driver swing, much more turning in the barrel. Better move there. We can see him wanting to slide forward, but not near as much because he didn't slide back as far. And that's very, very helpful for creating a better downswing. But even with that, a lot of movement forward. Left leg straightening a little bit late. And we know if he's up and off that plane, this part at the bottom in terms of this rotation through here with the hands will be tougher to time out the more you slide, jump, and then have to rotate to get the club in position. Also, when you come down, the steeper the plane is typically, the more narrow everything's getting. The club's getting closer into your body. And once again, that's tougher to recover on the way down. This one here, he's played great at Riviera. He's won there. Cool looking video here in black and white. We can see good lines in this swing on the way up. Perfect backswing plane, perfect club face halfway up there. Great position here. And that one's shallowing a little better as it starts down, but still a little steeper in transition than he would want it to be. Trying to match that shaft plane exactly to the swing plane. That shaft a little steeper as you can see there. Once again, it's going to require a little bit of a slide, stop rotation of the hips, handle gets a little higher, add impact, and there's the flip there at the bottom. Just a little tougher to, re to recover. Obviously, he's great. He's on the PGA Tour. He's incredibly talented, so we're not going to say anything negative that way. Just it could be tougher to time out than someone who is always shallowing this thing down and then can rotate through without that flip at the bottom. When you watch this swing this weekend, we'll see if he can get it done on Sunday. Certainly in his groove, we'll see how he does. Can keep making those birdies and be watching. Can you see a lot of slide and sway in his swing, or is he rotating well and getting that club on a better swing plane? We'll have to wait and see. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, James Hahn. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.